Hey there, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and thank you for checking out my channel here on YouTube. Today's video, we're going to be having a look at a really useful feature inside SharePoint, which is part of your Microsoft 365 subscription, and that is Quick Links. Being able to instantly and quickly access files, pages, and even external websites that will help you to do your job more effectively, all from your SharePoint page. So let's get stuck in. So let's get started. Here we are on the main page of my SharePoint site. Now to add quick links, the first thing that we want to do is move into edit mode. So we do that by clicking edit up here on the top right hand corner. I don't know my left from my right. And you can see that changes the way we view the page because it's now editable. So now what we're going to do is scroll to where we want to pop our quick links in and click on the plus sign to add a new web part. So we can put it in as a new section or in a new web part. So I'm going to put it in under here. We click the little plus and you'll see that we have the option here to put in a quick link. Easy, right? Now let's add a few links and customize them. So here's how we add links to our quick links section. We click add links. We're keeping it really simple here. It's great. And then you just choose what you want to do. So you can see here that we've got the option of what's available recently. And these are things that are already in the site that I can access. Alternatively, you can add some stock images, things from OneDrive, another site. You can upload something or you can put a link into an external site. But in this instance, I'm going to put in this document and I click insert. You can see it's popped it in here. Now, once we're here and I click edit, we've got things over here and it's telling me about the link. So this is the location. I can open it in a new tab or we can open it here. So I might choose to open it in a new tab. I can change the title. So I'm going to call this This doesn't change the um, this doesn't change the file name. It changes how it looks on the page here. The thumbnail can be the automatic auto selected, so you can see the thumbnail it's choosing is the type of file. I could put a custom image in, or I can choose something from a library. So I could upload my own file if I wanted to. Um, accessibility, if we want to have some alternative text, or we can mark it as decorative, so there's nothing else for them to read. So, and I can change the link that I want as well. So that's if I want to edit that link. This section, the quick link section, I can also um, edit how this looks. I can make it compact, which is what this is. We can make it strips. We can make it a grid, which means if I added others, it would be there. We can turn it into a button. We can make it a list or we can create tiles. So you can play with the look of it and have different quick link groups that are based on different groups of things that would belong together. Once you're happy and you've got all of your links ready, you've set it all up and you'll see that it's got changes saved, but we need to publish it again so that people who view the site who are not administrators can see the edits that we've made. And to do that, we simply click republish over here. So everyone who can access this SharePoint page will be able to see what you've done. We go republish, it'll have a think, and there it is, our new quick links. And just like that, you've set up your quick links. It's a great way for you to be able to make it easy for you or your team or your client or your contractors to be able to find the information without having to rummage around through your document libraries and get to the document or file that they need quickly and efficiently. And here is how that finished quick link looks in action. This is how anyone who would access the site will see it. You'll see we've got our two here. I've got my pointer or my mouse pointer here. And when I hover over these, they are now links. And if I click this one, it will open in a new tab like we selected and it's opening it up as that editable document. You can see how fast and efficient this makes it to navigate this particular site. 
So thanks for watching this video. If you found it really useful, don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of the great ways you can be using SharePoint to work more efficiently every day. I will see you next time.